Hello, everybody. It's Fisher. Hey, just wanted to show you real quick what you can do with the custom or pixel audiences that you you gathered. Um, I know many of you have uh, have said, you know, I, I don't necessarily want a lot of real estate leads. I want some some mortgage leads too. Uh, so what we're going to do is show you a quick concept. Um, I think many of you know how to do this, but just in case you don't, there are additional courses and classes and you know places we can send you to learn. Yeah, I know we're giving you a few tips in here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to run uh, an ad just off your mortgage page back to some of the audiences that your agents have been helping you create through the through the pixels, through the custom audiences that TJ talked about, and, and ultimately to folks we think that might be interested. So I'm um, going to jump over real quick here, going to share the screen, going to go to uh, my, my business page basically. And I, I typed up this ad this morning, just uh, recorded this real quick. Um, I guess I could show you what it is. It's probably not my best ad ever. Hello, it's Michael Fisher. It's probably Michael got some Fisher, compliance team. things. I'm not going to get in trouble today, for it. But, no, I'm just kidding. Seconds, talk to you about anyway, so I, I made this quick ad. I got a video. You know, I basically put myself behind a slide. Uh, I, I did this with Zoom meeting, Ring Central. I think you can get a, a free version of it if you want to use that. Um, you know, just a real quick ad with a, a link here to a, a survey capture form. I know some of you use lead pop, some of you use your web pages. You know, I just use something simple. It's basically an RD loan. I talked about it, kind of put a quick slide behind it. Um, so if you want to learn how to be better at this, again, there's, there's other places we can send you. But if you're trying to run mortgage ads, uh, now keep in mind, you've already got audiences. So we're going to go to create ads over here. We're going to go to our ad account, ads manager, sorry for the dead space. Now, my last video, oh, my CPU is running slow. We talked a little bit about um, the menu changing. So I think here to, to do engagement, you go down here, there's the button engagement. Video views, TJ runs a lot of these. I actually am probably gonna try running both, but for now I'm just gonna run this as engagement. Okay. TJ can show you a little bit more about how he runs the video views, perhaps another video, but I just wanted to show you guys how to use the pixel part of it. So engagement, post engagement, continue. All right, now this is the part that is important. So. I'm going to go back to my audiences. I'm going to actually I'm going to use my pixel audience here, which was the Jerry Weaver team. There's my pixel audience. Uh, it's still fairly small. It's about 2,700 people. Um, but I was running this in an area that was eligible for rural development. So um, I'm just going to click that, leave that 2,700 person audience, and. I'm going to make sure I don't have any young people here. 22-ish, cut that off. Cut this off here. No, oh, sorry, that's fine, I'll leave that. All right, so 2,600 people. Apparently I had some young people clicking on the ad. And I might wanna put a radius on this too. So include, just in case some of you are clicking on my ad from all over the country, I'm not paying to to continue to put it in front of you guys. So here, I'm basically just putting this in the Metro Detroit area. So when you say it cut my audience down to 2,200, um, so maybe a few hundred people from all over the country, you guys, different people sharing my ads. But ultimately, my pixel audience is now roughly 2,200 people, of folks that were potentially looking at houses. As we run more ads, that pixel audience will continue to grow. Uh, so I'm gonna save this real quick. Save, save my, my audience, which is essentially Metro Detroit West Side people that can potentially uh, purchase in rural development eligible areas. This is just a pixel audience. I'm not going to put a whole lot of money behind it. Two, three, four, five bucks a day kind of thing. Test it out, see how it works. My audience gets bigger. I might put more money behind it, or I may use that lookalike audience like we talked about. Um, TJ had mentioned the lookalike audience. It's another option I could have done. I could have chosen, I should say. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to essentially run this 
rural development ad my, myself off of my page back to my pixel audience. So I've got an ad for a pixel audience. I could create another one for a custom audience, which I think you guys know how to do now. If you, if you watch, you just, instead of selecting that pixel, you just go down to the next audience, which was the, uh, the, the, uh, the custom audience. So got to go to the Michael Fisher mortgage team page. Next, Michael Fisher mortgage team. Got to pick the most current post. There we go. There's my post. Eh, it's even telling me here I should probably use the video views. Eh, let's try that. Change objective. There we go, video views. All right, the video views ads are running really good right now, so <laughs> we'll give that a shot instead of the page post engagement. I know Facebook is loving videos, and this is part of the reason that uh, it, it prompted me to, to make the change. Um, from what I hear, the video view uh, ads, you're getting impressions for one to five cents. So uh, that's actually, that's pretty awesome. So, all right, so here's, there's my order off of my page, off of my account, I'm using my pixel audience, and I'm putting my personal brand back out there in front of the pixels for mortgage branding purposes. Like I said, if you want to learn how to make more ads like that, um, there's plenty of courses and people we can send you to. But most importantly, we want to show you guys that, you know, yes, we're helping agents, but we're capturing data. We're, we're high-level marketers, and we're um, learning how to use this data to stay in front of our audiences, to put, uh, potentially put different uh, ads in front of them. So, you know, maybe if they don't move out, move forward today with an offer, maybe they move forward tomorrow with a different offer. Anyhow, I think that's, uh, that's my ad. I want to do one thing, show you guys real quick before I get too far and move on. And that is, uh, I want to show you another thing I'm going to do with this particular ad, which is uh, something we've been teaching here. I'm going to jump into my page again. And I'm going to take advantage of the work I just did. So I just essentially did um, did a little bit of work to to you know to pay to promote an ad. Uh, I also want to utilize the quote unquote organic side of Facebook. So just like we've been teaching you to share posts about um, about agents' properties in groups, I'm gonna try to stick this in a group real quick as well. So I'm gonna put this in South Line Group. Is it USDA? loan right for you cool all right and i'm going to share it i'm going to find a few more groups and share it in but um i'll end the video you guys get the point i'm going to go back as soon as i hang up share this in maybe four or five six different groups around town maybe some people kick me out but i'm going to try to share it in the groups where i know the admins um i, I know three or four in the local area that i know the admins so that's that's most likely to be the strategy so hopefully uh, this was a great, helpful video for you guys in MFBA LOU. Uh, and again, trying to use the data that we gathered to stay in front of and to automate uh, our marketing. So, well, that's a great tip. We'll talk to you guys soon.